Hello, everyone. I will wait a little bit and I will share the link to my personal channel so my friends can know about the, the live session. Okay. I will share, I will share on my personal Facebook. So please wait a little bit. So hello. Wait a little bit. I share to my personal page. Share now. Oh, not yet. Share. We will start in one more minute. <clears throat> Okay. Joy me is dear. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Han. Okay, gonna start in like one more minute. Hello. Hi, Han. Okay, I'm going to start. So, hello everyone. My name is Tammy, and you can see how spelling my name is. This is me in the photo, and this is me you can see via the camera. I work for Kiss by Vietnam, uh, a charity non for profit organization that provides education to the orphan children in Vietnam. I'm the initiator and coordinator of Maker Academy. Maker Academy is an innovation of Kiss by Vietnam that was selected by 100 in 2019. Today, I will talk about how we hold space for children to fail, learn, then flourish in their own ways. First, I'll introduce about Kiss by Vietnam, who we are. Then, I'll explain Maker Academy, what is this? And uh, finally, I'll look at um, um, after that, we look at the role of the teacher in the Maker Academy class, what actually happens in the class. And finally, we look at how this model helps students to learn, develop, and flourish in their own way through sharing some story of our learners. And also during our conversation, if you have any questions, please ask me by typing your questions into the comment box below. And also I will try my best to answer as much as, as I can. So first of all, I would love to share about the Kiss by Vietnam. And you can see here the logo of Kiss by Vietnam. So, you can see here the Kiss by Vietnam logo, and I will share about who we are. 
So first of all, Kids Boy Vietnam is a not-for-profit educational organization was founded in 2009 by Tat Kin Kat, and we exist to help the Vietnamese orphan children to well prepare for their future after they live in the orphanages. And our curriculum focuses on helping the students to develop the core competencies and core values, core, uh, core characters, so they can have a brighter future, they can break cycle of their parents, and they can have a happier life, they can become the global citizens, can solve the local problems. Now I will take you a quick tour of our office. So this is our office. And you can see in the world is in graffiti. We hire an artist to paint in it. You can guess the word. Yeah, that's the words of innovation. And okay, and this is the this is the one with the uh, word clouds of the words. This have a lots of words matching with the different uh, values of orphan impact like of empathy, making impact, courage, love, stain, and perseverance. Uh, and this is the, the place. It's called the meeting room, meeting corner, where we have a meeting with, uh, with my uh, founder in the US and also uh, with the local teacher in different, in, pro, uh, in remote province, so we can use this corner. It's a quite like, a uh, small space, but it's cozy and it's modern, and I love this space so much. As you can see, no one in the office now because it's not the working time. Uh, everyone not coming yet. I come earlier this morning for this live webinar. So, okay. A little bit of the, the light. So I will next, I will explain what the Maker Academy Innovation is. So Maker Academy is an educational program for Vietnamese orphan children from 8 to 18 years old living in Vietnamese orphanages. In Maker Academy, the children learn and develop by making things, for example, like robots or mobile apps. So far, Kispy has set up seven makerspace at orphanages for more than 300 orphan children throughout Vietnam learning. And also, like uh, during the time we run in the makerspace, we try a lot of different models and different approaches. And now I will uh, share with you some of the model or approach um, we are using in the classroom. And each of the model or approach will have a different pros or cons. So first, in our maker classroom model, so we set up three to five different stations. So when the student enter in the classroom, they can choose which station they would like to join. Activities in stations could be related to coding, programming, robotics, circuitry, or non tech to personalize learning of the student to meet the different needs and different interests of the students. Each station will be like uh, support by the, our teachers or our volunteers. And second, about the projects, our projects learning approach, we use the projects-based learning design thinking process and uh, we, um, and maker to create the exciting and relevant activities for the for the students to learn in more depth. Third, we set up the uh, orphanage maker space. Uh, whenever we travel to the orphanages at the weekends, we will set up the maker space there. So the, we print on the supplies, maker supplies, and on the equipment, and we set up the space. And after we uh, after the, we finish the classroom, we will clean up everything and bring it back. So fourth, last year, we built our first innovation lab. This is the permanent lab in the orphanage with all the equipment and supplies there. 
The student can learn as any time they register with their teachers. So in upcoming years, we would love to set up all the innovation lab in all the orphanages we are teaching. And if you have any questions, you can type in the comment box and I will try my best to answer on the questions. And if you have your own makerspace with your students, with your children, I also really curious about how it happened at your makerspace. And I would love to exchange the idea and how was it set up in your own makerspace. Okay, uh, now I will share with you some of my favorite activities I have a try with my students. One of these is making the auto water pump using the microbit and moisture sensor. The moisture sensor, I will show you the microbit here. Okay, we use it, the microbit. This is this uh, tiny programmable programming was um, uh, designed by PBC and developed by Microsoft together. And also uh, we using this to making the, the auto water bomb. We use the wet sensor. The wet sensor will detect the uh, will will detect the uh, the wet of the soil. Like when the the soil is wet. So it send the, it's dry, it send the signal to the microbit and microbit as a controller to trigger the pump. So the pump will water for the plant. And if the motor sensors say that the soil is wet, so uh, the microbit will stop watering. And also yesterday I tried, I, I programmed for this microbit to demonstrate so when we using the battery, so the microbits will have some, I, I, I program it yesterday. So this, the smiling face, and when I press the button A like this, so it's have a, the heart blinking like my heart. And also if I press the bottom B, so it will show up the maker, Academy, thank you. And I will come on the link to the auto water bomb. Wait a little bit for I copy the link. Um, where this, okay. This is the link to the um, demo of the auto water bomb. And I use, I and why some of my Awesome colleagues prepare this so you can watch the videos on the comment box. Okay, next I will share with you about the um, another awesome projects you can use with your students. It's related to uh, microbit. No, no, with the hummingbird kit. Here's the hummingbird kit. Uh, for example, we are to pre to planning for the the training teacher. We are build a um, a weird creature. It's like a, a creature have uh, the head of a bunny, um, a head of a bunny, and the uh, the body of the turtle and the tail of the fish. So. Yes. Xin lỗi anh em đang bận một xíu, cái đó không phải của em. Em đang mắc hộp đó anh. À. Anh ra ngoài giùm em chứ, cho em đang mắc hộp. Cảm ơn anh nha. Okay, so um that's the wee creature. Again, I will say again, we use in the humming the bus distance to like uh, control the wee creature with the head of the bunny, the body of the turtle, and the tail of the fish, so they can wave the tail and light the legs with the eyes. So I can share another link to that wee creature. And this also really like a awesome projects you can still use with your students, where the student can like a 
creative design their own creature. Em mắt đang học xíu đó, anh để đó em để đây đây đây. Yeah. Okay, sorry for the deliver of the air condition to the office. Sorry for the in interruption. And okay, back to the hummingbird. Uh, now I will explain how the curriculum support learning. In design the curriculum, I use the backward design. I start with the big ultimate goals. After that, I will define the evidence to demonstrate that students meet those goals. The last step will be the planning learning activities for the students. And now we can discuss what the role of teacher in the Maker Academy. Ron of the teacher, Anne, do you can recognize your face, Anne? Okay, so uh, the teacher is the facilitator. The time in the classroom is the time for the students to shine, not for the teacher. Our time is for the before, prepare the lesson before and after the classes. Before I really start with the, the, the goals we want, I want my students to achieve at the end of the projects. Then I use the backward designs to approach and design the units and projects for these final goals. With this approach, we will know which activity is suitable, which not suitable, which activity we can, we can replace it or use it. I can make with this. And also, when we in in our class, we can maximize the learning of the students in the classroom and guarantee that this is the time for students to experiment, to make, to try, and to fail, and to ask questions. After each class, I will like uh, try to get feedback from the students and from the other assistant teacher, so we can improve for the next class and to adapt their lesson. One another important thing in designing the activities, I design the learning activities so that it's interesting and also challenge for the student, but not so overwhelmed for them. They can feel the, the gap is really small and they can like uh, achieve it and earn their own confidence. So, what does the teacher actually do in the maker class? So first, at the beginning of, of the class, I will give the oriented instruction at the beginning of the day so the student will know what they are supposed to accomplish on that day, where they are now in the process. During class, I do a things to support the students. I give guidance question when needed, encourage when the student become upset or discouraged. I create the learning environments where students can, can fail easily but, fa but safely and let them learn fail is, is normal and fail is okay and failures uh, are the opportunities for learning. Mm. Okay. And also in the classroom, I also try to use as much as techno te technology so, so make it the classroom can more effective. Like I use the, the hyperdocs uh, with the hyperlink to the documents and the student can reference that link to self keep track their own space and to meet the like of the student with uh, need more time or student would like a quicker so they we can meet the um, the on space learning of every students. I also assign the classwork using the um, Google Classroom so I can easily keep track the process of my students and they are and also can easily to write comment or feedbacks on their classwork. And we also use a lot of tools to like uh, um, 
the, the assess, uh, formative assessment like a quiz or Kahoot or Socrative. That's really cool tools you can use in your own classroom too. And I also be a role model for my students to send the positive message to them instead of the negative message they are received from the others. For example, the relative and the people around the girls in the remote areas, they normally say that with them that the girls cannot do in technology, but I, I, the girls just become the homemaker, like if they cooking, showing, or they taking care of the families. So I, I be the role model and show them that that's not true. I also have a background in technology and I also can become the STEM teacher. So the girl can do everything if they really want to do that. And also, uh, as well as supporting the students, I also observe the students. So I can learn what the good sits inside of them. When we know this, we can water in the good sits and creating the opportunities, the environments, so that these, the good, uh, the, these, these good traits can sow and grow up so the classroom can become a beautiful garden with each student is a different, different kind of flower or plants like this garden. Fell and then flourish. So each of us, I bring this strong belief in myself so everyone can have the, their own values. And for example, some student I can see in the classroom, in maker class, some student really good at like care for the aesthetics, while others care about the functionality of the products, and some care about new products ideas, while others are really good at prototyping, and others have a talent for sharing their ideas. Some really good at writing, express their thoughts in writings. Some students like to invent alone with quiet perseverance, while others love working in teams. Okay. Uh, let me take a look whether anyone to write the questions. Okay. I will answer about could you I will finish this part and I will share about the, I will read the questions and answer your questions. Okay, so by providing opportunities for students to try supporting and encouraging them when they fail and observe within the children to see and accept these different personalities in the classroom to create the environment where these different personality can develop. That's what I mean when I say whole space. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the presentation in few minutes. If you have any uh, more questions, you can write down so I can read the, the questions. Okay, I can see these questions here. Could you please share us how you recruit the teacher and staffs? Okay, in this field, like Maker Academy is a new trend in education and also about the teacher in the uh, Fortify industry. So like uh, this is the time for, it's not, the teacher is not an expert. So you are no need to be an expert in the maker, but you like uh, with the mindset that you can do it and you really want to do it and you really want to do something for the students. So you can learn by yourself and also, uh, with the students and uh, you recruit uh, the teacher and staff so you can show the values of what you really want to bring for the students. So the, the teacher and the volunteers or the other people can fight that, that value matching with their values so they can like uh, choose uh, to join your organization or your projects. So the first thing is that you need to show your your values and how you do it. And because in this, like of this non for profit sector, people care more about the value print to the community rather than the salary or uh, the benefits. And it's also the, the environment, like of the support each other's, the people working in there, they are really support or they can learn or they can improve, something like that. 
So I hope that it can answer the questions. Okay, so during the last 25 minutes, I have a share about how Kids for Vietnam is a not-for-profit organization working with orphan children and Maker Academy is an innovative educational program that lets students learn by making things. It gives them space to tinker, to learn and fail, then they try again maybe try in a different ways, and finally they can succeed and making things. This process helps them to discover their strengths, their core values, and develop their perseverance, grow mindset, their empathy, their critical thinking, their creative and their problem solving skills, and which are, all of these are really important for their future, so they can lead to the, the successful future. For them, and it's really necessary when they are uh, learn higher or they work in the the professional modern companies or organization, and it's really more important than with the disadvantaged children. And the open structure of the classroom enables students to find and develop their own interests and uncover their own talents. The students need the teachers who never give up on them who believe in them, love and care for them, encourage them, inspire in them, and motivate them. That's what the students need in the teacher. With this support, we can develop their own self-belief, and they can give back the inside gifts to their communities. This is what I mean by holding the space for children to fail, learn, then flourish in their own ways. Thank you so much for having me today. And if you uh, have any questions, you can comment below and I will uh, answer it later. Mm. How to put the student into the right groups? Normally, is the I have another question here. So how to put the student into the right groups? So actually, we, we let the student choose the group they want to choose. In one class, we classify the student with the um, uh, with the age, like of in one orphanages, the student with the uh, grades four, five, they can in the same class. The student with six, seven, eight, they can send the uh, same class because normally in um, orphanages we cannot do have a uh, enough the student in uh, six grades, for example, in one class. So we will group the student in the age before and after that we also like of let the student choose their group uh, to choice like of like us also the adults we also want to choose the group we want to choice rather than the student we assign and sometimes we also use the random bigger names to we can random and to like of change the people the student can work with so it can help the student to learn to work with different personalities and also different people even the people they do not really like so how that answer the your question eden so thank you everyone and we'll wrap up and my conversation here see you later and i'm really excited to join in another webinar of all the innovation from hundreds in the next web days thank you